Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Night Therapy, where five friends from across time and space come together for some much-needed cathartic Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, how are we all? Pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Great. Very, really great. Very good. Brilliant. <laughs> There you go. That's, that was that was an overwhelming wave of positivity there. <laughs> it was Sorry, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to the stream and I muted the wrong tab, so I still had two of you, and it was really confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs two of me. That's like that's that, for, for for some people in this world, that's an absolute nightmare. That's hell. To, Us included. Uh, yeah. We don't need two DMs with your level of uh, maliciousness. That's mean. I'm not malicious. <laughs> hey, I say it with love. Bearing in mind that we're about to go into terribleness. No, so, if you're going to kill anybody, not me first. Hey, man, the dice do what the dice do. And uh, the dice can do something over there, please. <laughs> the dice do what the dice do. You know what it, you know how it is. Uh, um, right. So, we are the only announcement we have is that we are not playing next week um, because one of our number is going off to some secret uh fun thing in a different country that we won't talk about here because mm. you know we like our privacy but we wish him the best absolutely sure everyone would do if they knew what they were doing as well um so yeah that's uh that's uh that's it for next week we may be doing something but something will not. definitely be happening on the thursday because it's in our name and we have to pretty much <laughs> was, was, was there a we are contractually obligated to ourselves i didn't sign a contract that's what you, you only think you didn't, Troy. Um, well, well, on that um, note, I guess. Um, <laughs> so as I go through my paperwork. Uh, right, so yeah, with that, um, I believe we can get started. So let's do a heckin' thing. After returning from the material plane with the help of Taral and Bonk, we discussed our options after meeting with the Raven Queen. The plan, it seemed, was simple. We were tasked to find the soul of the sleeping man, Eric Torbok. However, the soul is apparently being guarded by a creature called Nefarian, the Lord of Souls. The Raven Queen sought it to be a demon of the Abyss, while popular stories and folklore placed him to be a devil of the Hells. Part of the reason why I never believed in all-powerful, all-knowing gods is that no one can be right all of the time. Maybe I'm proved again that that is the case. Maybe the gods did exist, but they are just flawed as people on the Earth. Alas, while I brooded on this thoughts, we rested and prepared to follow the Raven Queen's clues towards where Herbonk found the soulless man. A village destroyed, but a start nonetheless. Traveling with Bonk's magic, we arrived close to the village and started to move in and investigate. I have a particular skill for finding things, so I darted in quickly. But as I reached the houses and began searching, Something appeared behind my allies. A tall, broad figure with a dragon-like maw and a long, flaming whip. We began talking over Asmodeus and the Apocalypse and some kind of challenge. While trying to sneak around to gain an advantage against his enemy, I came across the same hanging ash in the air that we saw in the Underdark as we escaped our deaths the first time. I avoided it and snuck behind the devil, and slowly crept up while his gaze was taken. However, before an opportune moment arose to take this glowing soul from his hand, he moved away and touched one of the pieces of floating ash, and something seemed to move inside the houses. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Nathan. Ooh. Yes. So, with that, noises begin to emanate from the buildings around you. Low, moaning, hollow noises. And with that, I'd like you all to roll me initiative, please. Oh, Heck. fuck me. Oh, my goodness. Fuck me. Hold on. Don't Running. do it just yet. We need Heads. tokens. Ah. Is that me? That must be me, because I can click it. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. The initiative. It is coming. Init I Uh, three. <laughs> I rolled a 15. Four. Or a total, a total of, of 22. Amazing. Because I got good initiative and stuff, innit? it, mate. Oh, I rolled 18. Ooh. A total of 23. Uh, nice. And I have a total of 20. So, I was I was informed of a rumour. I heard a rumour. Yes? Hmm. What? <laughs> Am I misremembering? Did you not say that you had now added my sword to the token? Um, no. You didn't? No. I am absolutely positive you did. I said that I added something to your other portrait. Ah. Yeah. On the homepage. But didn't do anything about the sword. Oh, then I completely misunderstood. And I actually have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Wonderbar. Okay. Right. I always do that wrong. Wrong way. There we go. Right, so... As a quick thing, Mr. DM. Yes. Uh, from our last session, I was still hidden with a pretty decent stealth roll. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to find that stealth roll. Uh, a stealth of 29. Yes. Uh, just as a... So you're aware, slash remembering, slash please don't hurt me. Oh, we'll, see what, we'll see what occurs first. <laughs> right, Can so... see me. So, Tarathiel, or Tarau, you are first. You can hear noises in the buildings around you, but you cannot yet see anything, apart from the large demon stood in front of you. What would you like um, to do? Tarathiel will hesitate slightly in attacking this creature. Um, he will step kind of over to here, but keeping his eyes on it. And... Uh, Bouncing behind him, Tarathi will his action will summon Volus, his yeah, Drake right. companion. Yeah, I I wanna see Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> wanna see it? Bring me Wallace. Yeah. Oh Hello big boy. And uh Mr Mr. Rich, I understand that you yeah. have to choose his aspect. Yes, so I am um, going choose well before uh, you do if, if you right click on him and you click on multi-sided you can choose what color he'll oh, be for each one you've got i can't click on him at the minute that's because i haven't given you control of him god what, what, what are you talking about rich <laughs> shush <laughs> uh, uh, don't, be, don't be silly um uh, hold on oh, i did this bit but never mind hold on all right hold on hold on stop shouting at me all of you stop it <laughs> Everybody glare at him through the interwebs. Ah, I can feel it. Can you feel it? Uh, right, so that, that and that. Derpy derp. Okay, can you click him now? Uh, he's disappeared. Oh, <laughs> he flew away. <laughs> he's, up there. Yeah. Yeah. he's up there. He's up behind Gray, but yes, yes, I can see him now. And so I would do that. And I will choose this one. Electric. And you <laughs> should. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't need his own initiative, Luke. does he? Because he, he goes. No, he turn. goes straight after me. Yeah. Awesome. 
Yeah. There you go. You got your boy so, back. Yay. He is now summoned, and he is still you know, like in all like for all intents and purposes, he is still uh, quite got quite an aspect of black to him. But you can see uh, sort of very much streaks of blue that run through him, um, and he has a, a an electrical essence to him now. Sweet. He's the best boy. Who's a good boy? You are. Right. <laughs> um, and that will end my turn. Okay. But my Great. bow is at drawn. Currently, you cannot see anything. You can give me a perception check if you want to uh, try and scout out things that might be moving around you, or you can do choose to do something else. That is up to you. Is perception check my action? Um, no, I'll give you that as a free action. Just to glance around you and see what you can see. Then I shall do that, please. Um, I'm going to... Make a perception check. Good old perceptive grey. Uh, wow, a, a 14 total. 14. That's actually not bad for me. Okay. That's, okay. The, digits. That's yeah. the best I've done so far, I believe. <laughs> okay, so uh, looking around you, obviously your, your uh, attention is a bit dominated by the large creature that's directly in front of you, but um, doing a, a proper glance around, you can in fact see that uh, in the building behind you, Two of the creatures, uh, or two of the bodies that were lying um, recumbent, are now uh, mobile. Uh-oh. Wow, bugger me. Um, then I will. I will. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I warn the group and say the uh, enemies in the buildings, and I'm going to actually just step back here. Do I see more now in this building? Um, hold on. Where are you at? Uh, so yes, looking into this into this building, you will in fact also see there is one in there as well. Oh, fuck. Well, it wasn't my original plan, but now seeing one uh, much closer, I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts at the one in in this small building here. All right. So I will raise my hand, and I will Eldritch Blast. That is a 25 for the first shot. That will hit. That's 13 points of force damage. Nice. Okay. Very nice. And my second attack... Will be a little 16. Uh, don't think that hits any of them. You sure? No, no, it does. Double, no, it does hit. Do check. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Yep. Excellent. That's uh, seven points of four that force damage. Okay. So yeah, you uh, fire your blasts at this, and the creature itself is it's it's grey. It's it's like a husk. It's ashen. And as your blast hits it with with the force of your Eldritch Blast, you see the bits are knocked off it. And it is like just ash floating off into the wind, leaving big holes in the you know the body of the creature. But uh, it's it's still moving slowly at, at the moment, but it, it is moving. Okay. Then I shall end my turn there. Okay. Okay, so next one is... This one here. And he's going to scuttle out of the destroyed building up to Nefarian and attack and attempt to attack him. Oh. What? And miss horribly. They're trying to attack what? That's his turn. Next one. Uh, it's that one, and then it's this one over here. It, well, <laughs> confusing. Yes. Corrupting. Right. Is it going to see Mr. Ficht? Very unlikely. What's well, its never... passive perception? What? Yeah, it's probably like two. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's it actively a... looks for me with its action, I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm okay. No, I think you'll be fine. No, it is going to scuttle uh, past you, basically, and uh, join its uh, brethren. Uh, 
And also with a fork and a miss as well. Wonderful. That's his turn. Fict, it is your turn. Okay, so I'm like pressed to the ground, kind of, <laughs> uh, with my cloak over me, hood up, and just watch these two zombies come up out of buildings from left and right. Uh, the walls, if it's a full wall, is it proper height with no windows? And if it's kind of broken, it's what height? Um, so, I mean, the <clears throat> the structural integrity of these buildings is not great. Yes. Um, you can climb it if you can give it, you can try and climb it if you wish. Um, however, there is going to be um, a random chance as to whether it falls down as you're trying to climb it. Um, right. Most of the buildings w- were two story, um, but a lot of them have crumbled down so that if there is any of the second story left, it's not fully intact. Yeah. Okay. Uh,. So if it's so, so how high is say the rubble that's here? It, does it is it kind of like partial cover or is it just uh, rocks on the ground like a foot high? It's probably about uh, w- uh, waist high, let's say. Waist high, okay. Yeah. I can work with that. Um, I can't, however, do much against that just yet. Uh, I am hidden. So I have advantage on an attack. So let's just deal with one of these now. Uh, I'm going to pull out my short sword and attack in the same motion. And I'm just going to hamstring this zombie next to me. Uh, So advantage because I'm hidden. And that is a 27 to hit. Definitely going to hit, yes. Uh, Six... Uh, magic <clears throat> piercing damage in case it means anything mm-hmm. and some sneak attack of 20 uh, does not require magic that's fine uh, so that's 24 yeah uh, 26 26 sorry let's skimp out on those two extra okay uh, is there oh bugger I was going to go that way but I can't <laughs> um is there a break in the wall here that's slightly off the map that I could potentially scuttle around the edge, or is that going to be a solid wall? Um, I believe, because I did do this in a larger thing, that yeah, that or, uh, corner was gone. So yeah, we can you can say you can walk, you can you can step off the map and then step back on again. Okay. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 30 would put me all around, so out the wall. And then round that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, 35, 40. And I'm going to bonus action hide again. Okay. Uh, which is a uh, stealth roll of 24. Alrighty. Yeah. So anyone who was watching uh, this go down would have seen you appear out the shadows, go slash slash, and then <laughs> got you. <laughs> yep. Like the wind. Uh, completely gone out into the shadows again, and that's me. That's my turn. Okay. So that's action, bonus action, and movement. All right then. So it is now this one's turn. It is going to scuttle forward, and it doesn't stand up upri- upright um, like a human. It scuttles forward on all fours, not un- not unlike um, uh, Reagan from The Exorcist as she's going down the stairs backwards. <laughs> mm. Right. Uh, okay, that's an image. Mm-hmm. It is going to uh, go up to you, Gray, and it's going to attempt to attack you. Does a 16 hit? Well, let me just double check the rolling. 16 is my armor class, so but, meet. Ooh. but I have but. blade mastery. So I can... Um, I can use my reaction to parry and give myself a plus one to AC until my next turn. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as I can, yeah, it's a temporary AC boost. Okay. And it uses my reaction. So uh, in that case, it would not hit. Right. Reaction used, parry. That's fun. Yes. Where did you get that? That's cool. Uh, blade mastery. 
Very cool. Fair. Okay. Uh, that is its turn. tricks up your sleeves that we don't know about. Hmm. So, is this one here? It's going to go scuttling over the uh, rubble up to Rune, and it's going to attempt to grapple him. Okay. So, you need to give me a um, athletics. Or is it athletics or acrobatics or a choice? Uh, it's a choice if you're being grappled. Right. Okay. Uh, right. So it's a contested roll. Uh, this one, it has advantage. Okay. On uh, checks and imposes disadvantage on those it is trying to grapple. Oh wow! It imposes, it imposes, uh, la, imposes a disadvantage on me. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Right. I rolled a grand total of twelve, and I rolled an eighteen. So you are now grappled. Oh fuck! Oh uh, no! <laughs> That's a slight yeah. issue. That is its. That is its. Um, turn. So is this one up here? So it's going to come down as well. It's going to attempt to attack you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Does a twenty-one hit? Uh yes. Okay, that is thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. Thirteen. Okay. I think my hit points are wrong on my character. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. Sorry, it's 13, yeah? 1 3, yeah. Okay. Let me just. I can't click on him. Why can't. Ah, because I've got the ruler, t- ruler tool. <laughs> the ruler tool. Did we take damage last session? No. Yeah, but we were. No, we were fully rested. So we were fully rested, be weren't maximum. we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, that's wrong then. Let me just. There we are. That's more like it. Okay. Yeah. I basically I, I, I copy over the um the tokens from, from whatever previous map we were on. Uh, so if you if you were taking damage in the last battle then it would still have the same one that you had right. there. Right. So. Okay, that would be why. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's all right because that was very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So it is now on Nefarian's turn. So he looks at you Rune being grappled and hit upon by these creatures and Sneers. Oh, well, perhaps I was mistaken, and you won't be quite as much th- fun as I thought you would be. He turns to look at the two that are attempting to attack him. It's like, ah. Oh, I was hoping for something slightly more interesting. <laughs> and he takes a big swipe with his claw at one of them. Uh, it's 53 damage. <laughs> Sorry, oh, what? My. God! <laughs> 10 D6! Uh, you you are big... aware that we can see that, aren't yes. you? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's that's good and terrifying. Lovely. Right? Oh, yep, so, wow! So he takes a big old swipe against one of them and his claws run. That, a... that changes what I was about to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ridiculously good roll, by the way, though. That was a yes. very good roll. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. a very good roll. 10 d6. Damn. Wow. There's only one die below a four in that. <laughs> wow. You could Shit, say, mate. You could say it's the devil's luck. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's his first attack. So, he takes a big old swipe out of one of them and carves a huge chunk out of its torso, which then turns into ash and just floats off into the air. Uh, to join the other bits of ash that are floating in the air, which uh, caused all this in the first place. Holy fuck. Uh, I didn't... Uh, what happened there? The fuck? Oh, the roll. Oh, why did that pop up so late? Because <laughs> there was so many dice it took ages <laughs> to, to get them out the bag. <laughs> roll 20 is going to, having to borrow What's dice from other people's games to roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's that wow. one that he hit. So he turns to this one and just leans forward and uh, attempts to take a bite out of this one. Please no. Uh, that oh, one missed though. Jesus Christ! Yeah. I'm kind of glad uh, I didn't attack him now. So yeah, he leans forward. <laughs> and you 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 can hear his jaw snapping shut for even from where you are, Rune. It's a very very loud clack. But uh, the the creature, despite being apparently being made of paper and ash, uh, managed to duck out of the way in time. Hmm. <sighs> well, this might not be quite so boring after all. And that's his turn for the moment. 
So the one that he he hit for fifty three is still standing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not that I not the great saw any of this or anything. <laughs> Greys around the corner. Where's Victor? And he's quite fucking happy about it right about now. <laughs> <laughs> so this one here, and previously unnoticed by Fict as he went running past, um, suddenly starts to move as well. But no one from your point of view can see this. Mm. But it did notice, and it does smell the warmth of something passing by recently and goes off to investigate. As it disappears down this way. That's his turn. Rune! Let's go. go. Okie dokie. Um, so it's a contested athletics check. Is it to break free of the grapple? Athletics or acrobatics, whichever one is better for you. But I'm still under disadvantage, right? I believe so. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, can... Mm, I can still attack the thing, though, can I? Yeah. Uh, how does this work, then, with a scythe? I would have to use it in a in an unconventional way, surely. I would it, say that you, you, you put, uh, maybe swing it up down towards your feet and try and take its legs out? I was thinking more, um, put my hands behind it, grab the grab my side and try and break its back with it. Alright. Um, so I'll try that. Um, so Carry this on. is against the one that's grappled me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh wow, a natural one for a total of for a total of nine. Yeah, I mean... I'm doing um, very well this evening. Yes, yes, you, you, you are... You, you attempt this um, <laughs> manoeuvre whilst being attacked from one side and grappled from the other, and in a complicated movement, you almost cut your own hand off. Yeah, but not sounds, quite. It sounds like me. Uh, attack number two, then. <laughs> oh, that's a 16 to hit. That does hit, yes. Uh, that would be nine whatever damage you would like that to be. <laughs> slashing? I mean, it says, it says slashing, but I'm not using it as a slashing weapon. I don't know if that... It'll, it'll, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think. I think the way you're attacking is more flavoured. It's. It's. Yeah. You're still doing slashing damage with a yeah. scythe. All right. Fair enough. Um. That's that. Um. Bonus. <laughs> bonus action. Well. Heck. Um, crying, crying. Crying is a free action. Just. just <laughs> I'm just gonna bonus attack with my uh, with, with my scythe again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this time that is a 23 to hit with Very 8 good. damage total. Yep. Brilliant. Yep, so you, uh, your unconventional um, attacks, you know, you, you get a good couple of solid blows in after you uh, fumbled the, the initial one. Mm. Uh, you knock a few chunks out of it, but it, it's still holding on to you for the moment. Okie dokie. Um, I think that's all I can do right now. Uh, I can't move, can I? Because it's grappling me. Nope. nope. You grappled me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. That's. Uh, I guess that's me done then. All right. The Taral. Okay. Uh, Taral kind of glanced over, sees Rune in a little bit of trouble, so he strafes back against this wall. He uh, raises his bow, but just before he does, he reaches out to the the lifeless husk in front of him, and he um, utters the wording, uh, "Let my aim be true." Um, and I cast Hunter's Mark upon him. Ah. Uh, uh, just at level one. Nice. Um, I will then take an attack against it. Uh, that will be a uh, 14 to hit. Just hit it, yep. Just hit. Um, okay, so that would be... Uh, 11 damage, uh, but actually I'm going to re-roll that one with my Pierce of Feet, so I will re-roll the D8. That's a 4, so that'll be a 3, so 14 damage to that okay. uh, creature. And as, as the arrow leaves the bow, you see Volis almost like spit a bolt of electricity which hits the arrow. 
using his draconic essence, it adds an extra d6 to that attack as well. Nice. Nice. That's a reaction. So that's another three. So that will be 17 damage to that attack. Very nice. Sweet. Um, and the, the bolt shoots forward with like a little <laughs> jolt of electricity. It hits the husk. It's just almost like a slight like a, slight like a taser. Hmm. Um, okay. Second attack. Same creature. That would be a 27 to hit. Definitely hit. 18 piercing damage. Good stuff. Yep, so both of your uh, arrows hit true. Your uh, your draconic companion adding a little bit of uh, zing to your uh, arrows. It hits and you see the lightning crackle across the the, the paper-like skin and sink into it. And Yes, you, 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 your uh, connection through your hunter's mark, you can feel that you have landed some solid blows on this one. Um, and then with that, I will look across to Volus. Volus, sick him. And you see, <laughs> for anybody that would see it, which might only be room, but you see Volus vault up and over the wall into behind this creature. Ooh. And uh, will make a bite attack upon it. Uh, awesome. With advantage, I yep. believe. Of... Uh, that would be a 22 to hit Excellent. for 8 piercing damage and five electric damage. Very Oof. good. Uh, and that will end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. He is a good boy. Okay. Very good round. Um, anything else? That's it. That'll end my turn. I'm spent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm spent. <laughs> I need a refractory period. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, Grey. Uh, I guess I'm just going to start attacking the one in front of me with my sword. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to uh, uh, start swinging, swinging. Uh, Two-handed, I guess, because okay. there's no reason not to. So the first attack will be a 17. Yep, that hits. For a massive five points of slashing damage and the second attack will be a 14 14 hits for 11 points of slashing damage good stuff yep two solid hits from your sword there double handed coming over and uh, yeah you carve chunks out of it still moving in front of you I will Uh, let me double check. I think it's an action to cast, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to end my turn there. Alrighty. Okay, so there's this one's down here. It's going to try to take another attack at the uh, large demon in front of it. Wow, these things can't hit for shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a six and misses horribly. Uh, next one. <laughs> Oh, a 21. Did a 21 hit? I'm going to just uh, check my card. 21 doesn't hit. I'm really <laughs> glad that you didn't attack that one, Mr. Paladin boy. <laughs> okay. That one does hit, but it does half damage. That's six. Okay. Fict. Okay. Uh, Fict. Coming around the corner. Sees. Uh, sees Grey. What's he <laughs> fuck <laughs> are these? <laughs> Doesn't matter. What do we just, do? Where is he coming just, from? Just kill them. Get rid of them. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Good enough. Uh, I saw a move up to here. Uh, effectively, I'm going to step into his space, attack, and then step back out again. Mm -hmm. That sounds very uncomfortable, but carry on. Uh, well, I'm I'm sneaky and quick, uh, so I'm effectively going to almost repost underneath his uh, underneath his great sword swing from between his legs, <laughs> under, under my armpit, like <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to lunge forward and repost uh, and just jab him straight in the face with the short sword. Uh, I get advantage because... No, I don't get advantage. I get I sneak attack if I hit. 
Uh, so I will just attack with my short sword of warning. Uh, a 14. 14 hits. Uh, 8 piercing plus okay. my sneak attack. 26. Ooh, Ooh. my. Big old hit. Wow. Uh, that's Both pretty not fucking bad. great. Yeah, it's looking pretty knackered. Uh, <laughs> I will... How much did I move? I just moved 15. <laughs> so I've got more movement. Uh... So I will go 20, 25, and I'll throw a dagger at this boy. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action. Actually, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, because I'm going to use my bonus action when I get uh, 30 and 35. My bonus action is to hide again. Okay. Uh, I am very much a cut run kind of guy. Uh, that's a natural one, but still oh. a 13 of st- a stealth of 13. A 13 of stealth, if you will. A 13 of stealth, yes. <laughs> yes. 13 of stealth. The 13 of stealth. I my, can. That's my favourite um, set of cards, is the stealths. Um, okay. Uh, so I am, to my knowledge, hidden. Yep. <laughs> Let's see whether that pans out. But there's, there's, I mean, there's nothing else around that you can see that might see you. Yeah, that's the fucking problem. It's the things that I can see that worry me. Yeah, yeah. And the fact nice. that I probably don't see all of them. Some nice trees over there as well, so, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, if, <clears throat> uh, don't you fucking dare! <laughs> <What? They're>, don't <laughs> say they're demon trees. I'll be very what? upset. Well, oh. You wouldn't I... want to upset the stabby boy. There's only one way to find out, of course. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> this one is going to lunge forward and attempt to grapple you, Grey. They like to hug, don't they? They really do likes to be hugged. Uh, that is an 11. Oh, no, 12. Sorry, it's a 12. And you have disadvantage on your uh, uh, your um, response. Why? Because that's how the rules work. <laughs> it's athletics, right? Or do I get to choose between athletics? Athletics or acrobatics? acrobatics. Yes, which I believe are the same. So I'm going to try and shove him off. Oh. With a 16. With a 5. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I, I just remembered that 12 seconds ago you said I disagreed. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a slim chance of... Oh, fuck it, why not? I can use this several times a day. Okay. Isn't it? Are you using knowledge from a past life? Uh, yeah, I was just going to double check the ruling that that's allowed. Uh, any, any skill check, isn't it? I think. Any skill check, yeah. Yeah, yeah your past life. I'd, I'd have to roll, and I can do it like three times a day. I think I did. I use one last week. I, I think we talked about it, but I don't know if I used it. Or not. Uh, you talked anyway. about it, but you did. But you also, um, you have rested since then, so. Yeah. Um. You get it four times a day. Oh, actually, it's, you know, it's you. Not technically, it's not a reaction, so it's just something you can do. It's like yeah, luck, exactly. basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I would That's have to fun. roll a six, otherwise it's useless, but I can do it four times a day, so I may as well go for it. Mm-hmm. Come on! Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking back to your past life when you were when you were a black belt in judo, you attempt to break the grapple and then realise that you didn't actually have a past life in judo. <laughs> All right. Consider me grappled. Consider you grappled. Okay. Right, that's its turn. So this one down here. So, Grey. This creature is directly in front of you. Its arms are wrapped around you tightly. You can, it almost has... It, sorry, yeah, Rune. Grey. Oh, look, I've told you before. If you two are going to have names which are both four letters long, I'm going to get confused. <laughs> okay? I'm sad. Okay? <laughs> At least you did nice to call yourself fuck. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so, Rune. Yes. The creature they're holding onto, you can feel the strength of its arms around you, but yet it almost has no weight. It is, it is like being hugged by paper, but strong paper. And just as you consider this, it leans forward and clamps its mouth over yours. 
oh. dealing 18 points of necrotic damage. You do not give consent. <laughs> um, Jesus. Uh, I was going to see if I had any resistances, but I don't to that. Okay. Uh, sorry, how much? 18? Yep. Oh, wow. Shit. And I thought the demon was going to hurt me. Okay, thank you. It's a topsy-turvy <laughs> world that we live in. Yeah, it really is. All right, so the one next to you, having watched this uh, this passionate embrace, is going to uh, get really jealous and hit you. Oh. Don't hate For me, because I'm beautiful. Ooh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I might as well have just, like, chinned the demon at this point. <laughs> Chin okay. the demon. Attempted, attempted There's to. a... There's a sentence. Okay. So, speaking of which, it is now his turn. Uh, Well, let's see if we can get this over with quickly. This is not nearly as interesting as I thought it was going to be. He unfurls his whip, and you can see that it crackles with a orange and purple light. It's almost painful to look at. As he cracks it forward. This better fucking hit, because this this is going to be really embarrassing. (laughs) Oh, it. I clicked it. There we go. Oh, oh my god. god. Fucking Christ. Jesus what bollocks crap. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh wow. So you watch as the whip cracks forward on the creature in front of him. And as it makes contact, the 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 lifeless paper just turns to f- ash and drifts away into the air. And the whip pulses and it, you, it almost gives off the impression that it's angry it shakes and judders in his hand and you can see him recoil slightly like ah, well clearly this clearly this has already been used up ah is that one and this one is he's going to take a slash at not a piss but an actual yeah. <laughs> it's acid <laughs> this is hellfire uh, oh. so, yeah that's good oh that's oh that's a, oh, that's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no so that's, that's um that's 98 damage that's 98 points of damage uh, on this one <laughs> so as as his claw rends through it leaving trails of hellfire across oh, the paper it catches fire and just immediately it's like flash paper just goes up then it's gone fuck me that's his turn uh, so this one is still sniffing around over here fucking hell looking confused it's going to come back into here and that'll be its turn Rune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ouchies. Oh, yep. So I'm going to just, uh, yeah, I'm just going just gonna, to you know, attack this dude in front of me. I'm assuming now that I have uh, an eye behind him, it's a straight yep. roll. Yep. Okay. Well, no, you're a straight roll. Uh, you, you have advantage because you have an ally behind it. You're not, uh, not Oh, it's, it's you're a skill checks yeah it's like the, the, the skill is, is a disadvantage not the not any attack okay so I have an advantage now sweet all right uh, so yes first attack is a 25 to hit very good yep nine damage mm-hmm um, second attack is oh wait a minute Let me, oh fuck I didn't do advantage did I uh, no, you do not. It's five damage either way, but uh, yeah, so sixteen and five damage. One damage, cool. Couple of nice solid hits. St- still not dead, okay. Um, bonus action, pole arm. A nine, a twenty-seven Oof. to hit with six good. bludgeoning damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Very good. Yeah, it's looking very, very haggard. It's looking very, th- very paper thin. Oh, I, I'm there. glad it looks slightly unwell. <laughs> at, at least, yes. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. 
<laughs> Tyrell, it's your go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will raise the bow once again, still locked on with my uh, Hunter's Mark. So that will be a 15 to hit. Okay, that hits. 18 piercing damage. Okay, so Rune, from your point of view, you see, as the creature is like directly in front of you, you see an arrow pass directly through the side of his head <laughs> and pass out the other side, hitting the wall as it uh, crumbles into ash and you are now ungrappled. I, I, <laughs> I dust the uh, the ash off my arm and I, I, I look to the left and I go, thank you, <laughs> and then um, ready, ready myself for the next guy. <laughs> Yep, there's uh, one more. Um, hold on a moment. Uh, <laughs> and I will, with my bonus action, I will switch my hunter's mark onto the next guy. Okay. Sweet. I will then longbow at him. For... Oh, that was 13. so close to a natural 20. 13. Uh, uh, 13 misses. Misses. Um, so it will scoot on past. Heck. Um... And again, Volis at this point, with being told to sick him, will take just a little leap forward and he will make a bite attack. Uh, that would be shocking! Uh, that would be miss! Six. <laughs> six. Hell. Um, and that will end my turn. Okay. Wait, is that little symbol that you put over the, the, the husk, is that Boromir? Oh no! Wow! Still too, too soon. soon. Wow! Too soon. <laughs> I was not expecting years. that today. God <laughs> damn! We, we were talking about this last night. <laughs> yes, we were. Oh, it's wow. only been twenty years. Twenty? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, about about well, twenty. The film, yeah. It's like well, twenty-three, isn't it? Twenty, Did twenty-two. Two thousand. Two thousand one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 22 years. I was soon. still in school. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Would it irk you even more to say it was primary school? Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. that's it. Anyway, rocks fall, everybody dies, game's everybody. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, hey. Nate. God damn it. <laughs> Hecking kids coming in here, spoiling our game. Hey, I'm 30 now. <laughs> I'm as old as you in spirit. Oh, I've just... I've just sudden... Sorry, it, and I know it's, you've just said my turn, but I've just suddenly had an idea. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm still grappled, right? Well, yeah, but it is, it is now your turn, yeah. Ah, oh, okay, I can end it as a mission. Um, all right, can I ask this question? I, I don't think I want to do it now, but just that I understand. Uh, using Soul of the Raven, I can, as a bonus... I, I, oh, fucking hell. As a bonus action, I can merge my body with the raven. What? And basically become a small... a raven. Would that allow me to fly away, or would I still be grappled? Um... I would say that you wouldn't be grappled anymore, but if you then left uh, combat, you, it would get an attack of opportunity on you. Fair. All right. As I said, just wanted to know. I'm not going to do that now. Okay. Uh, as I'm grappled, I'm going to use one arm to kind of brace this creature so that it's far enough away from me so that I can use my other arm to, like, stab upwards into its ribcage with the tip of my sword. All right. Uh, I guess that would be one-handed, though, so uh, here we go. Mm. That is a dirty 20 for a dirty. total of 6. Good stuff. And my <laughs> second attack is a 12. So and that's going to miss. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I've just read, when I become tiny, I can then use my action to dash, dash disengage, or dodge. That's so getting good, dodge. Yeah, so I could get away. Um, but I've not, I'm not going to do that this turn. I, I, I'm going to end my turn, I think, because I can't do anything else. Okay. Picked. Okay. Uh, so, from my vantage point around the corner, I can see that 
Uh, my friend is having a little bit of trouble. Eh. Friend, ally, acquaintance. <laughs> oh, wow. Done great. Wow. Then about, about the temperature outside, but it just definitely got cold in here. <laughs> Guy you once met. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh, so I'm going to see that he's having a bit of an issue and run 15 feet to here. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, again, dip underneath the underneath the armpit of, uh, of Grey and stab into this, uh, this creature's abdomen. Uh, just sort of saying, Are you alright here? Do you, uh, do you need, need help? Get, get this fucking thing off me! And, yep, stabbing <laughs> in through the abdomen. Uh, Grey was from Austria. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, fucking yeah. choir boy compared to you. <laughs> uh, 19 with the short sword. Yep, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 6 damage plus the sneak attack because it's engaged. 18 extra piercing damage. Uh, it's looking Oof. very fucking knackered. Uh, and. Like it's it's like it's like the the shell of, uh, it's like someone took a paper model and then burnt it, but then managed to keep the ash together. Ooh. Okay. Uh. All right. As I'm withdrawing from the uh, from the short sword, I will just flick a dagger at it offhand with my bonus action. Okay. Uh, a twenty-two to hit. <laughs> One. Wow. And one damage. Oh. It's still up. As no. A dagger is just in the middle of its chest. Oh no, it goes like directly through. It's it's in the darkness. <laughs> oh actually, hold on, sorry. Can you just grab me a quick D6, please? A D6? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh no. What terrible thing have you got done for me? No, it's fine. Five. In that case. <laughs> As a reaction, you will see Volus flick the bolt of lightning towards uh, Fick's blade as it goes in. <laughs> oh! Can you do I, that for me? I can do that for anyone. Oh my wow. god, you're the best! <laughs> Who's my little favourite lizard? What's <laughs> oh, that one! Uh, 1d6. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Does he roll or do you? Uh, you roll it, it's your boy! I will roll it. Uh, 1d6 roll. Six damage. Very good. Six yep. lightning damage. So the the uh, dagger f flies true, and just as it before it impacts the paper thin creature, you see a bolt of lightning come out of the corner of your periphery and strike the dagger as it enters the creature, which promptly bursts into flames and then disappears off into ashes. Wondrous. Only only just in range as well. I got a range of 30 foot on it. <laughs> Wow. Excellent. Okay. Uh, as, as the hand is extended from throwing the blade, and there's just a little hint of confusion <laughs> as he looks to where the bolt came from and sees a giant, shadowy, purpley dragon. And wow. you, you, you think you see Volus just wink. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Not like this game can get any weirder. Uh, and I'm going to run through the gap, uh, 20, 25, 30, to pick up my, pick up my dagger again, <laughs> looking at it to see if it's fucking black or not. It's been <laughs> destroyed by lightning. Uh, and is there anything else in the room with me as I've just run into it? No, no, it's, this is, uh, it's desolate. Okay. Uh, I will look back at Grey and went, was that event fell? Uh, and yeah, that's me. Okay. All right. It is the, uh, other one, which is next to Rune. A very single mind of these. It's not going to bother paying attention to anything else. <laughs> it's going to attempt to hit you for a 19. 19 is my armor class. Uh, he meets it, beats it. So yep. 15, bludgeoning. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> 15. Okie dokie. 
Okay, so Nefarian standing and observing, just watching you, seeing what you're doing. Yeah, wasn't expecting to see, a, to see a dragon here today. We don't see many of those around anymore. Yes, entertainment finally. Hmm. That's gonna be his turn. Uh, uh, okay. This one is gonna creep out from behind the wall and attempt to grapple um, <laughs> this guy. So this grapple is a demon. Grapple a demon. This could be funny if it works. All right, so that's got advantage. I'm really hoping it works. So it's twenty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And his is going to be athletics. Oh, of course! Wow! <laughs> why? Why? Why not? Yeah. Oof. So yeah, you. Natural, I mean, natural for, for, twenty gets cancelled, and he still goes to twenty-five. So if, I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know if any of you will be watching this, but yeah, you'll see like this, this little creature kind of scurrying up to him and attempting to latch on, and he just looks down at it and just goes, no. <laughs> uh, right, Rune. Is that a well behind me? Yes. Okay. Um, well, well. Well, we well, 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 well. Three well. holes in the ground. Do it. <sighs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm not grappled anymore, am I? Nope. The old what? grab and flip down the well. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, suplex him into it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I think. Thank you. <laughs> right, okay. Big Jack old Hammer. belly to belly. <laughs> right, 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 right. Let me first. Uh, 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 I don't have an ally directly behind him. Um, not advantage though, yeah. Um, no, no. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, uh, right. First attack. Excellent. That's a that's a. Uh, you rolled a two for a grand total of ten to hit. Yep, that will miss. Yes. Uh, second <laughs> attack. I'm doing piss poor this evening. That is a twenty-two to hit. Yep. And eleven damage. Mm-hmm. Um. And my <laughs> bonus attack is a uh, eighteen to hit and five hit bludgeoning well. damage. Yep. Okay. Fine. Um, <laughs> that 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 is that is that is me done. Okay. Oh. Oh Oops. shit! No, there was something I was gonna do, but I don't think I can do it. Let me just have a look. Real quick. Where's it gone? So many fucking things. Uh. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> oh no. I can't. I'm going to speed oh, yeah. up Spellcaster. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, I'm done. Thank you. Okay, Taral. Uh, Taral sees the other lifeless husk appear, but his focus is on uh, the demon Nefarion, so he will keep his focus on the one that's by Rune, seeing Rune a little bit worse for wear. Uh, we'll take the longbow attack. Is Oof. a 29 Oof. to hit. Wow. Hit. For 17 piercing damage. And the second attack will be. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh, that was a. Okay. <laughs> that yeah, will miss. miss. <laughs> uh, I thought that was going to be a 12. And I yeah, was like, oh, yeah, we all did, good. I think. Uh, and then uh, Volis will kind of pounce upon it and take his bite attack. Ooh, that's a 22 to hit for Excellent. 9 piercing and 5 electric damage. Oh, very good. Yeah, you see, you see Volus dive forward and take a bite and he his his jaws just meet like Im- immediately, clack. And he, you see him like, just rear his head back and then spits out a cloud of ash. He's like, Pah! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Good. Boy, Vollis. I'm disappointed I didn't get to do my suplex. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> you could... <laughs> um, okay. That will end my turn. All right. Yeah. Gray. 
Okay, I am going to begin to run in this direction. I am going to, while still moving, step here and slash around the corner with my blade. Right. Uh, is this with advantage as yes. I'm flanking? Yep. Then that is a 14 to hit. That hits. Only one roll. <laughs> uh, no, it it, 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 it no it it, 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 it okay yeah it yes. automatically takes away the lower one so uh, yeah Keeps so highest, yeah that's uh, nine slashing damage nine slashing um and he is still standing yes yes then I will uh, skid to a stop okay. and make my second attack. Uh, that's an 18 for 8 damage. Okay. Yep. So you take two slashes. Both hit. Both carving chunks out of the uh, creature in front of you. Uh, and that'll end my turn. Okay. Picked. Okay. Uh, stepping out and seeing one creature is still uh, in front of me. I will step two. And Step two. give it a slash. Uh, I am not at advantage. Uh, although, if I can, I step round this way and get advantage that way. You want to try or perching on the wall in the way? You can try and perching on the wall if you like. Sure, why not? I would, I, I would, I would, re I would request an acrobatics check. An acrobatics check. I can do that. <laughs> Uh, famous last words. <laughs> uh, a thirteen. Ah, oh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will slash downwards uh, with the advantage. Uh, where is my button gone? There you are. Uh, advantage. Oh, that's a natural twenty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hmm. So it's eight plus six for the standard, so that's uh, that's fourteen damage, and the sneak attack uh, equals another forty on top of it. All right, Nate, give me an explanation of his desolation. Excellent, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well done. Okay, so uh, I have very deftly just jumped onto this little bit of wall that's a couple of feet high uh, and I'm just going to very simply just stab straight down, just hit it in where the back of the neck should be and the sword point is just going to go straight through and come out roughly at the bottom of the rib cage in a very graceful, elegant just sort of no and stab straight down and through uh, the other hand raised at the back just for a sort of aesthetic uh, balancing sort of uh, manoeuvre. And yes, very deftfully and gracefully just going to stab it straight through and uh, annihilate the poor little bastard. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I'll say that you, you do that exactly, but you, in, I'm, I'm not expecting the, the lack of resistance. You actually tip forward, landing on your feet with your blade plunged into the into the ground and a cloud of ash explodes up around you like smoke <laughs> that was not how I wanted that to go uh what the fuck oh shit he's here <laughs> and I've only used 5, 10, 15 of my movement so I'm basically going to jump up at this doorway and just use my climbing speed and climb up as far as I can go <laughs> with the rest of my movement. Okay. Yes, and you, you turn to look and the fairy is basically just holding the last remaining up, up, one up by its neck as it struggles and attempts to like grab hold of his arm. He just twists its head off and it explodes into a cloud of ash. Uh, I will go as far as I can and bonus action hide because <laughs> no, I don't like you. <laughs> uh, seventeen on stealth. Okay. 
Yes. Some some little bit of darkness on top of a wall behind a broken, a half broken sort of roof. Yeah, I I don't want to be here now. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm I'm just in a little crack just up there on the screen with a oh god why kind of face. So oh, there are four of you. Four is an interesting number. No. <laughs> I mean, it would be hard for him not to have seen you, considering your uh, your display a second ago. <laughs> Nine. Can, can I just ask? How, I mean, I was around the corner for most of this battle. How, how fucked up is Rune looking? Uh, he's less than half hit points now. Okay. Yeah. Not great. He's probably looking more than anything. He's probably just looking really fucking pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um. Well, it was bracing, wasn't it? Ah. Uh, well, I suppose you could call it that. Um. Could I? whilst we're having this conversation uh, use my lay on hands on myself you can go around touching yourself as much as you like mate yeah thank you <laughs> uh, I don't know why it won't just let me select a number I have to like yeah fuck it okay, so I'm going to heal for 40 points <laughs> and wow. that still doesn't really do a hell of a lot 40 is quite a bit Mm. Yeah, but I lost lots more than that, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Rune is just, like, standing there, leaning on his side. He's kind of, like, breathing heavily, and then he just... Then he remembers he doesn't need to breathe. So, he's, <laughs> so he just stands up straight and stops, and he's like, Huh. Uh, what's this? A reflex. Yes. So Nefarian watches this impassively. He's coiling his whip back up around his hand. Well, I just wonder what would happen with uh, this floating ash, and now we know. Isn't it nice to learn together? Nine. So, Not says really. A says a voice from the shadows. <laughs> Pretty much. No. Can I... This wasn't your first wave, your... First of five? He'd laugh. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. The, the gauntlet will not take place here. In this desolate place. No, no, no. We have an arena for places for events such as this. Oh. Yeah, you uh, you talk too much. Just, just saying. Can we get on a bridge, please? Mm. No. Some setup will be required. I will come back to collect you later. Uh, oh. nine. <laughs> you you have what we want. Uh, you just want us to sit around and wait for you. I don't care what you do. I oh. was not expecting to find such interesting mortals here today. I require a little bit of time to arrange matters. And Say, 24 hours. Fuck me, being dead was more interesting than this conversation. <sighs> you are vexing. But you fight well. I do? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you thought that was good, then uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird, though. You're still alive, or whatever it is that passes for alive. Oh, you are. Uh, we were so rudely interrupted by me. You are asking why you should trust me. Well, the reason is, is that 
you're more interesting alive than you are dead. Okay. <laughs> Rune just kind of scrunches his face up. <laughs> I, mean, I could kill you. I could throw you into a battle of impossible odds, but then it's over. We're done. If I keep you alive, well, we have so much more fun together in the future. Oh. You have a strange definition of fun. Yes. You mentioned an arena that would indicate spectators. Uh, potentially. Okay. You said you need 24 hours. Yes. And um, you just want to meet back here? Yes. Okay, then you go take care of what you need to. Yes. <laughs> I shall. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm saying go, okay. go take care of things and we can meet back here in 24 hours granted then we have a contract well uh, a verbal agreement let's say yes we do indeed I will be seeing you all all of you will you very soon. Eyebrows are waggling in the darkness, whether he can see me or not. I don't know. I think I'm perfectly hidden. <laughs> he says, talking for the... You can't see me. Yeah? I'm, I'm behind the wall, but you don't know which one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, with that, he, bring, he brings his wings in, and he looks down, and a uh, fire spreads out from beneath him into a kind of an eldritch uh, sigil and he disappears in a cloud of flame and smoke with a whiff of brimstone. When he does, I just go, oh, thank fuck for that. I cannot fight that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the bravado was a little bit too much rune, I fear. Uh, yeah, a, a, little, a little too thick there. I mean, you, uh, were, you were hugging... I mean, no, no, no. That guy was trying to hug you, but did you see how hard he hit? My yeah. goodness. Those uh, things took a few hits from us, and he just kind of laughed at them. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the uh, the effort, but can we not fight him today? I know. I uh, don't yeah. know what just happened with the accent there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Something went very wrong. It's okay. European, it's fine. It's broadly European! That's what I am. Uh, that's fine, Fict, but... We may not have a choice and have to fight him tomorrow. And I'm kind of going to kind of almost the theatrically throw the point of my sword down into the ground so that it just kind of <laughs> throbs slightly and stands in the dirt and start pacing a little. I'm going to... Just slip off the uh, off the roof and just sort of land next to you guys. Uh, shall I mean, we go back to Bonk and uh, rest? Yeah, I mean, we can head back. I just, I mean, okay, yeah, we we don't have to have this conversation here. Um, I honestly, I think we should explore just a little bit. We we got here and then assholes showed up. Uh, we have not found any if there's anything useful here to us I mean Fick you're welcome to have a look around I, I, I think we can spare a little bit of time for that I'm uh, hesitant uh, to uh, assume that we're going to find anything and to be honest what we were looking for we have actually found to an extent there's but, always uh, value if you look hard enough hey as I said I, we have time you can Take a look around. Yeah. Anyone want to join me? Or am I uh, slipping into the shadows? Uh, I'm going to have a sit down. Just for an hour. Daral? Do uh, you yes, want to I'd, join me? I think I shall join you, Vic. Uh, and uh, your, your large friend. Yes, yeah, he, he will follow. He will come with us. 
Um, uh, I'll I'll sort of creep forward a little bit and just sit on my haunches in front of Volus. So you are curious, are you not? <laughs> Volus uh, this... is your name? Yeah? Yes. This is uh this is him. I uh, haven't had the chance for you all to meet him before now properly, but uh, he is formidable, certainly. Uh, He's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, I, I personally don't know Nadia all that well, but Gray, this one certainly won't eat your face. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I tell it to, of course. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I I can't help but think of Volis as like toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just that's like, totally the image I have. He's like yeah. the friendliest dragon ever, but when you piss him off, the teeth come out. Yeah, he's just there, yeah. kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I even I haven't even seen that film, but that's how I was imagining Volis to, to look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good yeah. boy. Highly it's recommend it. Yes, definitely. Yes, good boy. Very good boy. Uh, boy. Yeah, so just sat on my haunches. I'm just going to be sort of looking at him. Uh, do you speak or does uh, Taratheel speak for you? Um, I don't think he does have any. No, I, don't think so. uh, I can speak to him uh, in Draconic, but I think that's all he understands. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, well, if you do understand me or not, you are most helpful, Volis. I'll give him a. I'll, I'll slowly extend a hand and give him a little scratch on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he quite affectionately takes it. Just kind of rubs, almost like a cat might, just rubs up against slightly. Yeah, <laughs> you. You are fun. I like you. Please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, shall we go, Toral? Yes, let's, please. Yeah, see if we can find uh, anything for uh, for Snicked, or, you know, maybe if, if my talents are going to come in, you know, old habits and all that. Okay. I will start moving through houses uh, in search of one valuable shit because mm. I'm a thief. Come mm. on. <laughs> uh, and two, see if there's anything that can be salvaged or harvested as a, uh, a curative, a reactive, or whatever. Yep. Okay. Uh, from yeah. our table that we use because I'm really intrigued but I don't have the skills you don't have the skills man my okay. survival's dog shit so I need the ranger <laughs> <laughs> okay so you start uh, yeah you start looking around uh, there are pockets of um, floating ash in in this little uh, area which I'm assuming you're going to be avoiding absolutely fucking <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> they will be very quickly pointed out and uh, avoided, skirted around. Yes. So, yeah. So you start to, you know, you, you go methodically house to house, and there is not a great deal to find here. Uh, not um, valuable wise. It is. This is. It, it, this town has been dead for a long time. Um, any any scavengers who have come through here would have picked it over, picked it over, and picked it over again. Yeah. Uh, there is nothing really here. That you you go into some house, you find what might be the remains of like a uh, a bed frame that's long collapsed and rotted away. Uh, chairs that are just piles of mulch. Yeah, there's there's not a great deal here that you can per- repurpose into anything. You know, it's it, not it, really going to be a safe <coughs> behind a painting in one of these buildings, is there? No, this is not a this this wasn't a big town. This was this was a small village. Um, you know, in the before times. Um, going a bit further in, you do find that there is a, there, there was a river that ran through the uh, village. It appeared to be separated into two. Um, you find evidence that there was a bridge here at one point, but it's long since um, fallen in. The water itself is no longer water. 
Um, it is a viscous, vaguely green, translucent... Fluid is probably a generous term. Um, it makes a distressing slurping sound as it sucks up against the banks of what was probably once quite a pleasant you know, little little causeway. Uh, now, however, it is... It smells of death and disease. It, sm- it smells like infection. Um, does it remind me of any town that I would have passed through beforehand, or is this not let something think, I would have gone through? Let me think where you are. Uh, no, no, this wouldn't. This this would not have been somewhere that you would have um, visited on your way from home to Armus Rex. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but all right. If, so nothing, nothing valuable. No, no loose floorboards that I can find with a, a couple of gold coins or whatever. But maybe something, maybe something natural that could be harvested. Yes. Well, that's where the uh, the ranger comes in. So yeah. So abandoning the buildings <laughs> and and the, uh, the the turgid river, uh, you head off into what was probably once a nice uh, cusp of trees. Probably giving the trees a bit of a wide berth initially, um, just to make sure that they're not going to like you know reach yeah. out and touch somebody. Reach okay. out and touch effect. Indeed, but yeah, no, they they appear to be inert, at least for the moment. Um, so yes, if you would like to give me a survival roll, uh, we will see what can be found. Terrell, would you like to do that with advantage with me helping yes. you? Please, because mine sucks. Hmm. Okay. That would be oh a twenty-five. Ooh. Okay, so you find one uncommon and one rare. So you've got uh, something poisonous and something reactive. Ooh. Okay, so an uncommon reactive and an uncommon poisonous. Or a rare poisonous. Rare, rare poisonous. Oh, a rare poisonous, even better. Even better than that. <laughs> better than that. In them. <clears throat> Very interesting. I mean, how I'm going long? To have a few things. Mm, how long are you planning on staying here and doing this for? I don't think too long. Um. Scour. I think Rune said he was going to try and have a short rest for like an yeah. hour. So that would be kind of the max time. Yeah, dude, we could sort of wander around and look at things for an hour, I'd say. Give it a yeah. good comb over. In that case, I will ask for another survival roll and see what else we can find. Ooh. Okay. In this time. Uh, okay. well Go okay. for it, Ranger Boy. Okay, so what that be? Yeah. He was a Ranger Boy. <laughs> he said, see you later, boy. That'd be uh, 24. Ah, yeah, so same again then. Uh, so, uh, a rea- another reactive and another poisonous. So, yes, yeah, so searching around in this area, there's nothing particularly green that you pick up. However, a little bit closer to um, the uh, liquid that is flowing past, you do start to see a few odd-looking plants. Uh, the the, the colours are not right. They are distressingly uh, out of place here. Um... Terrell specifically, or you'll, you'll look at these and think, oh god, no. Oh, no, no, no. That ain't natural. <laughs> this, is, this is not right. Um, but upon close inspection, you, you do find that you can harvest it without actually, you know, dying from it. So, at the insistence of Fict, who appears to be uh, much more into this than you are, you're like, he's just like, come on, come on, get it, get it. Like, oh, fine. <laughs> if I have to. Um, <laughs> I will even give you one of my knives. <laughs> I want it. You. Get it for me, please. <laughs> Are you giving him one of your knives to do it? If he wants, if unless he has a knife of his own, I'll give him one of mine. Um, I don't think I do. I have my okay. rapier. Uh, can you, just, can can you a roll a uh, roll a d6 for me, please? I'm worried when you ask me for this. <laughs> what shit have you got planned? The five. Fine. Carry on. <laughs> what do you mean, carry on? <laughs> I can't no. now. No. Uh, Give I, me the willies. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. So I've, I've. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my knife back and I'll take the, uh, the 
the rare poisonous and the uncommon reactive, two of each of those. Is Ficht very attached to his daggers? Um, not tremendously, <laughs> Just... but it's it's a case of he doesn't know where else he's going to get any at this point, yeah. so he'd rather not lose them. And they're not magical, so they are uh, they're susceptible to damage. So he, he'd, ra- he'd rather keep his knives. He's got a, he's got a couple of them, but well, you would see he's got he's got three bolted or belted to each thigh. Uh, so he's got six daggers across his legs, and then he's got his short sword on the back holster, or uh, back as sheath, he's- rather. As he's uh, showing you these, uh, Tara, can you give me a perception check, please? Oh God! Yes. <laughs> uh, where's that gun? Uh, oh, that's a natural twenty, and I don't know whether he, that's bad for me. These rolls are ridiculously high. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty-six. Yeah. With a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, as he's as he's showing you his daggers here, um, you know he, he's he's just you know saying, "Oh, I got this one here, this one here." Um, one of them is markedly different from the others. It is, uh, yeah, it, it stands out quite clearly as being very, very different from the others. Okay. Um, I will not say a word, but I will just oh. note it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I know that my own dagger is different? Oh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Give me a perception check. Okay. Going to be one. <laughs> wow, you didn't even know. Okay. Um. This does worry me quite a lot. <laughs> perception. On oh, no, eleven. You don't know anything, anything different. Nope. I own it! I use it every day! What's different about it? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, Troy, you mean man! <laughs> while, this, while this is all going on, I'm going to roll my hit die for my rest. Okay. So. While uh, Rune is resting. Oh, come on. There's supposed to be oh. five of those. <laughs> I'm about to say, <laughs> ten's good! <laughs> Uh, yeah, that that particular that particular thing on the sheet doesn't work. You do have to roll them manually. Okay. <coughs> um, right. Oh, detail. It is a pain in the ass. Okay, there we are. Four D ten plus twelve eight. plus twenty one plus. Yeah, I've got my hit points back. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, while he's resting. Can I kind of walk up and stand in front of Rune? He's sat on the floor, right? Yeah. And just, uh, just let the air uh, chill for a second. Just say, uh, "Are you all right there, buddy?" Uh yeah. I mean, uh, I thought that you know, together we had a good chance of. Uh, beating that guy a bit uh, I'm kind of glad that we got uh, disturbed by the weird ash things because now we know what he is capable of yeah I mean I guess that was advantageous and I don't know maybe we maybe we could have taken him maybe not I don't know yeah it just uh uh, it's uh, it's it's not a situation that we are in control of, and I'm a little a little afraid of that. I don't want to fail twice, you know. Oh no, I understand, and uh, yeah, I, I would agree. This is a, a tricky situation. I think we're. Uh, it almost feels like a bad deal, whichever path we decide to follow. But we are kind of having to take it. Yes, I mean, we're going to have to take one road, at least. But I meant 
I, are you okay? I, uh, I mean, this whole ordeal has changed us all in oh. different ways. Um, it seems to have numbed my emotions. Uh, perhaps it's accelerated yours. I. It's uh, it's a strange mix. I mean, so much has changed. Yeah. So before, in the before times, I mean, I was adventuring. I. I never. I don't think I really went into detail, but after I escaped the Uthteris Dominion, I took up with some uh, some pirates for a little while, uh, engaged in a a little light piracy. Uh, nothing lethal, just you know, we took a lot of uh, we took a lot of trade goods from other ships uh, and. Uh, that kind of thing, but uh, you know, we ne never really killed anyone. And then after that, I um, kind of wandered the lens a little, mm, kind of bereft of purpose. Uh, I was, I suppose, I was running from my own feelings and uh, my past, trying to be a better person. I don't know how far I got with that, but. There was always this little thing in the back of my head that I thought, you know, maybe one day I would uh, return and find some kind of revenge against them. And I don't know when, uh, when it became clear that everything had been swept away, that was kind of taken from me, that possibility. Uh, but then, when the Raven Queen gave me the information, or lack thereof, of my daughter, I, it's kind of given me hope again that there might be something left in this world for me. It's, uh, mm. it's a strange, uh, you know, you know, everything happening at once. I'm still not really sure how I feel. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what your thoughts are. About your situation? I mean, our, about mine? our situation in general, and yours, of course. I don't know, I think it's a bit different from me. I... Did. You never really talked much about your past. No, but I mean, I... I mean, when we met, I'd kind of left my old life behind me. I'd already... I'd already said goodbye to everything that I knew, and I, I didn't really have anything. And now... And now... Yeah. I I have nothing left at all. It's a... Uh, it's a strange feeling. Mm. Almost as if... Well, not almost as if. We definitely... We, just, we have to find our place in the world again. It's, uh, it's almost like being a child once more. In a way. Kind of. I mean... I mean, we kind of have this... We kind of have this mission. Yeah, no pressure but there. No, I mean, to be honest... I don't feel any pressure at all. For me, it's this... I don't know what else to do. I don't have anywhere else to go. So you it's may like, as well do this. It's not... Yeah, it's like it's not even a choice. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. 
I don't know, man. It's... I. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's head back and. I guess we need to talk about how we're going to handle this situation. Yeah. See what the others think. I've got a few ideas, but we need to kind of discuss this as a group. I just wanted to check that you're okay. Oh. You, it, you seem to get a little heated there, and I mean, look, I, I could sense, I, I could see your hands twitching. I, I knew you were, you were ready to fight, and I, I don't know if we could have beaten him. And after seeing what he could do, I, I'm certainly less confident than that of that. But I, I, I would have followed you. I mean. Thank you, Rune. Uh, Rune? Grey. Hi, Rune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> how did you... How did... Uh, the, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did it. Yep. Hey, I, on the back. I've just <laughs> finished a glass of rum. Let's just leave it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you, Grey. I mean, I didn't think for a second that you wouldn't... You would hesitate to back me up, but I think it's... Uh, do you know what I think it is? I think it's... Uh, uh, impatience at being thrown into a situation where it feels like our hand is being forced, you know? Like, yeah. we have to do this, we have to do that, and all these situations seem to be impossible. It's like, hell, maybe I should run towards my second death, you know? I mean... That's kind of how I'm looking at it. We have what feels like a near to impossible task in front of us. But I just think if if I die trying, then at least I don't have to worry about it anymore. That is a stark but very practical way of looking at it. Looking at it. Uh. Yeah. So I mean, this is uh, this is part of the reason why I'm so torn and impatient is because if there was nothing left for me in this world, I would be right there with you, exactly the same feeling. But knowing that, knowing that my flesh and blood is out there still. Possibly. I mean, I have to fight for that, right? Sure. Of course I do. I mean, who wouldn't? I'm a father. And my daughter may be there somewhere. I need to, I need to at least answer that question. I don't know. I understand. And then, of course... That is adding to my frustration and my anger and making me impatient. But if... Promise me this, Grey. If you ever see me just about to make a stupid decision, just, uh... I don't know, give me a slap or something, huh? Okay. I appreciate it. I can do that. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Anytime. And uh, sensing the conversation has come to an end, I'm going to turn around, uh, pick up my sword again, and um, while in my hand, I'll just have it have it uh, disapparate, and then I'll glance around for the others, see if they're finished with their scavenging. On the way back from the scavenging, um, and I ask a question to you, DM, how this mm -hmm. would work. Uh -huh. I would like to have Volis on one side nudge into Fict, and <laughs> while he does that, I would like to try and use sleight of hand to take the unique dagger from Fict. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> you can't! Would that, give wow. me, <laughs> would that give me advantage with Volis aiding me? <laughs> 
Um. Wow. <laughs> yes, I would say so. <laughs> uh, Amazing. I would try it. Um. Sight of hand with advantage. Hey, twenty-one. Twenty-one. What's uh? What's your passive perception, Nate? My passive is fifteen. Oh. Right. So yeah, you uh. Dang. You. Yeah, in in a in a in a brief moment of uh of like bumping and oh oh sorry about that you know you uh, yeah you slip the dagger out of its sheath. Does anything happen to wow. me when I do so? Uh, yeah, the the blade. It, I mean, it looked different whilst it was in his possession, but now you're holding on to it. It just looks like a normal dagger. Okay. And I twirl it round a little bit. Um, if he's twirling it, am I going to see it? I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm, you... I'm, I'm not being uh, like hidden about it. I'm being quite obvious. And then I look to Fict and just hand it back to him. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, but I think I, I think this one's yours. What? How did you? Okay, so uh, I see what you're doing. Uh, you sneaky elf, you. I'll okay. take it back and I'll put it back in the holster. Give me a perception As... check, Fict. Uh, uh, I was going to say, do I see as he takes well, it? Does it? We'll see what happens here. Hmm? Perception check. A 15. Okay. No. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, he he has one of your daggers, and he and he hands it back to you, and uh, yeah, you, you know, you put it back in your thing. Uh, Terrell, from your point of view, your the, the blade in your hand is just a very basic blade, looking very much like the ones that he has on him. As soon as it passes from your hand to his, the appearance changes. Okay. And I just, I just as as I hand it back and it changes, I just grab his arm and say, "Picked. Um, what is?" With this blade, you said they're normal blades, but this one is very different. Just still holding onto his arm. Yeah. So the blade you that you, mean? the blade that you see, Terrell, um, is uh, it's got a black blade. Um, it kind of uh, glimmers oddly because there's no light here really to for it to glimmer off, but yet it is. It's it's slightly odd. Um, and the hilt is has like a gem in it and a few etched symbols. It's about six inches in length. Okay. Um, and, I, and I will say to him, and I'll ex- I will describe it to him. And say, this one is, is the others are normal and look like steel or metal, but this one almost looks black and crystalline almost. But uh, there's something what? odd about it. So now that he's brought it to your attention, uh, Fict, can you, uh, as your, if you want to look at the blade, can you give me a, a perception check with advantage, please? Could I have an investigation role rather than a perception? As he's yes. told, specifically told me that something is different about this thing. Yes. Okay. It's it's, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, investigation. Uh, wow, a twelve. I'm going to use knowledge from a past life. Uh, I, I, I did say we, I did say you had um, advantage on this one. Oh, well, an eighteen. Uh, I'm still going to use uh, knowledge from a past life. Okay. To add an extra d six to this, so okay. four for a total of twenty two investigations. Uh, yes. All right. So as 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 the, as he says the words. You look at the blade, and it's it almost shimmers in your sight before coalescing into the blade that he describes. Uh, this is not one of your blades. What the fuck? This is not one of my knives. Then where on earth does it come from? Uh, both of you... Give me straight intelligence rolls, please. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. shit. Uh... Great. Uh, 
An 18 for me. Mine's a 10. Not okay. That's clever. Victor, you will remember on the way to the Cave of Lights in the darkness there was a moment when you threw a blade they went and it passed through a shadow and hit a wall and then Tyrell picked it up and gave it back to you oh okay one second uh, Fix let me have a a quick look at this and I will use I will cast e, 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 where is it uh, detect magic upon the blade okay uh, yes it is magical this what the blade fuck did you do to my dagger the, I have done that's, nothing that's me not oh. fixed <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah this appears to be magical I don't know whether some form of uh, thing has been cast upon it, or I am not quite sure. I, it's not of my school of magic, as it were. I deal with more of the, the nature and the this element, but this seems more arcane. Uh, Troy, as can you can you describe the blade to me again? So it was it was black with. Okay, it is. It's a sl- it's, it has a sleek black blade uh, that yes. glimmers in the light and a hilt adorned with an ominous gem and etched symbols. Do I recognize any of the symbols? Uh, give me give me uh, give me an arcana check. An arcana check. Uh, they're not the best. Uh, AFK second. Okay. Uh, these appear to be lines. Pretty lines. lines. Pretty yeah. lines. Lovely. Pretty lines. Okay. Uh, okay, so look, I'm I'm just sort of flipping the blade over in my hand at this point. And just sort of look up at Terrell. So I have no idea where this has come from. This is... Maybe, um... Maybe that uh, little cobalt fella, that snicked, he might be able to gleam a little bit more light upon it. He might be able to actually know, maybe not know what it is, but he might be able to find out what it is. He seems good. Yeah, quite, that could work. Maybe. Quite the knowledgeable guy. Maybe I can give it to him. See what he can, see what he can do. But. But when did this happen? I used this! I used this in the fight! This is the one that Wallace shot with his lightning breath. No, it wasn't. No? Different one? Okay. (laughs) Maybe not. Rewind. Uh, (laughs) I think that's why he was making you roll. (laughs) Yeah, shut up. (laughs) Uh, Well, it's, it's certainly a a new, a new arc upon our, the story, as it were, but uh, who knows? Um, maybe it has some special ability of some sort. Uh, as a note, detect magic. Uh, it's, it's an aura that emanates from you, and you get to learn the school of magic, if any, of any magic items. Or, uh... And you haven't given it a school. Okay, then it doesn't have one. <laughs> this this uh, is rules lawyer asking whether there's something else that he would learn from casting that spell. I mean, uh, I played a wizard in the last campaign. Okay, I <laughs> I <need. laughs> I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be necromantic if you're gonna go for school. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun. Obviously, I don't know that, and Fict probably wouldn't even know what that means. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, okay. um, yeah. Just I thought it was interesting, and you clearly hadn't seen it. Strange. Well, when did you see it? Well, I've had these daggers just... for years. 
I hadn't noticed it before, but when you pointed them out and you said you had three on each leg and they were all very similar, and then there was one I noticed that was not the same as the others. That's what it said. Yeah. I have I the eye for details, except in my own equipment, apparently. Well, that's why we're here to help each other out, I suppose. Yeah. Magic and illusions and concealment and... Yeah, give me a lock to pick. I am fine. Give me a building to climb. Yeah, I am okay. Any magic, it seems, goes over my head. So, uh... Thank you. Uh, this could be interesting. Who knows? But yes, let's uh, get going. Let's get back to the others and make a decision whether we stay or whether we head back on to and then have a chat with Bonk or whoever. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Do you think we should uh, we should go back and then come back? My do you only even think worry. We should come back? My only worry, knowing the Feywild the way it is, um, or the way it was, that the time is very, very backwards and it, it can jump from one hour to the next or one day or one week in either direction so oh is that the problem what we think is leaving for one day could actually be several it's my only worry if if things are still the same as the way they were that is an issue uh I mean, we don't. If 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 this is going to work in our favour, we don't want to piss this demon any more off than Rune already has. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, <laughs> antsy, shall we say, mm. uh, itching for the fight. Yeah, I think he would certainly have regretted. Uh, yeah, he he hit pretty fucking hard. So. This is walking and talking, presumably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think? If we could potentially miss this 24-hour rendezvous. Uh, that's weird to say in an accent. Rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Rendezvous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a very fast uh, word. <laughs> it's... Uh, it could uh, impact us very, very yeah, badly. As much Maybe as we should stay yeah. here. Maybe as we should... Uh, back, it would be good for a spot of rest, maybe recuperate, and whatever else we may need. But, uh, yeah, the, the potential chances of coming back and completely missing this event by, who got, God knows how long. If there's a chance we, should, we could miss it, then we shouldn't take the chance. And as uncomfortable as it may be, we might want to stay here. Well, let's uh, let's have this chat amongst all of us, I think, and um, we yeah. can go from there. So be it. You carry on walking, then. Return. Return, return. And continue the conversation as we bump into Grey. Oh, hello. Find anything? Yeah, uh, some uh, Quite some poisonous life. plants and a couple of a uh, couple of different bits, but uh, nothing of monetary value, unfortunately. Not that it helps; that it's just fun for me. Yeah, I was going to say, who you're going to sell it to? Uh, hmm. Okay. Um, what do you guys think? I um, I think immediately we have two options: we either head back. To Bonkland, or we um, we waited out here. We were just talking of this, uh, myself and Fict, and my only worry is, as I explained to him, the Feywild as it was, the time is very interchangeable. Let's say, um, what can go from one hour can change to one day, to one week. That the the time is irregular. If the time still runs the same way as it was. Uh, of this, I have no idea. Um, we could Even miss our day, headline if... by days, hours, minutes. I, I, I do not know. 
even Do if we... it's changed, we could we have to consider the influence of Bonk. Uh, and does it go quicker or slower or even more erratic? I, with, with this in mind, I think we should stay. We don't want to miss this opportunity to get what we want, even if it is coming from fighting a a devil and his gauntlet. Whatever that entails. Well, that's that's almost that, that that's that's, that's, a, that's a different matter. Uh, I think initially we just need to decide whether we're waiting here or we're returning. Do I? Do either of you have a specific re- reason to go back? Because there I, are, I think, also downsides to waiting here. I mean, we don't know what's going on we don't know what else is around we could end up getting into more trouble by being here you know what I mean there is this too Very true. yeah we could um, but personally I, I, I have no real specific reason for returning um, it would just be that it's a safe place <laughs> The the main thing I'm thinking is missing the meeting time. And if we miss the meeting time, we then piss off this devil. And that's not good. There may even be some kind of uh, forfeit as per this perceived contract he okay. has with us. That, it sounds like we're all leaning to staying here. What do we do when he returns I mean we basically have two choices the one is facing his gauntlet whatever that is fighting in his arena to whichever perverse spectators he uh, manages to gather up to watch us and hope that we can trust him enough to keep his word that assuming we defeat these challenges, he will actually give us what we want, to which we have absolutely no guarantee. Yes, absolutely. On that the... was going to be my next point. I mean, historically, a deal with a demon is, uh, well, this is, uh, it never, it never comes good for the uh, the mortal. And I say mortal in uh, inverted commas because obviously we are not quite mortal. These. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. Well, it is, it is a devil, not a demon. And that does mean something. Oh. They they are also bound by their contracts as well. They may try have, try and have, ways to upset the balance. But if a deal has been made, then both parties are subject to the deal. I think I, I, mean, I, I, I've stolen I've stolen enough from temples uh, some of the knowledge bleeds in yeah I mean, maybe maybe we look at the factor of do we give ourselves an assurance and we not necessarily weigh the scales but as a sort of fail safe we have a bonk on the standby that he could be there for us should things go awry and we become double crossed I mean we we have no idea where this is taking place and there we have no idea how to contact Bonk no, other than whether it be on, on this plane on in this desolate this desolate wasteland or on, yeah who yeah. knows where we could end up we have no idea what <sighs> on the other hand though we have the option of simply trying to take what we want by force. And the question is, <laughs> do we even stand a chance? Uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, that is very simple to answer. No. <laughs> uh, the only other thing, I mean, in fact, when he, uh, when he brought that 
or about. Uh, could you see any way that you could take her from him without him knowing, or I think it disapparated somewhere? Uh, I was behind him. The wings uh, blocked my view from oh. where he was holding it. I, I just thought you were in the room, but hidden. I did not know you were so far. I, I, I was hidden, but unfortunately, uh, not the right angle. Hmm. Uh, I have a funny feeling that he uh, made it appear. Did I um, mean? Uh, did uh, did you did you guys see? Did he just make that thing appear in his hand, or did he have it on his person? And now, and now, DM, I would like to try and think back because <laughs> I can't okay. remember. Um, right, so yeah, the way I described it was basically he was doing um, David Bowie in Labyrinth style tricks with the ball. Okay, yeah. You know, it was like, you know, the, the balancing on the fingertip and then back and forth and back and forth. Um, but yeah, he, as far as you can, as far, as far as you saw, he literally plucked it from nowhere. Right, okay. So and then sent it back the same way when he was finished mm-hmm. with it. Doing right. his best impression of a Harlem Globetrotter with a soul orb. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if you see the thing and you think you have a shot at taking it, do it. And then we can make an escape or something, I don't know. Uh, the only problem with that escape is where is this arena that he is preparing for us? If I take an object and I'm still in his arena, he will just kill me and take it back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Take the, the, one of the first rules of being a thief is knowing where your exits are. There are there are too many things against us in that situation. <sighs> I think if yeah. we decide if we decide to take his deal, I think we have to follow that deal. Yeah, yeah, I think you are right. But and if we don't follow that deal, did you already agree to his deal? Well. I said we could meet back here in 24 hours, but I mean, yeah, we can okay, just leave. Technically, I mean, technically, the meeting was the deal and not the not the yeah, challenge. The, um, we can literally just leave. We don't have to be here when he returns. But well, if, if we go along with it, then in 24 hours, then that would mean we have to be here. Yeah, I mean, if if we do go along with this, I would definitely like to just go over things uh, once again before it happens mm. if we decide to fight him though we need to have a really good plan oh we well, need to have the best plan and and get him is not going to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think I think fighting him is not a plan I think going for his his gauntlet and hoping that devils have to honor their ha- part of the agreement is a better plan I think uh... I personally do not want to get slapped by a devil yeah my rational mind is saying go along with his plans run his gauntlet and that way you know uh, we're kind of stroking his ego and uh, devils and such like uh, they they like to uh, they like to think or uh, know that they are in control they hold all the dice uh, he did say he did say that uh, we are more entertaining alive and if that means that we give him the possibility of future entertaining encounters then yeah maybe maybe yeah. we lean on that and play it up i think so if it's an if it's entertainment he's looking for then let's put on a show okay my well, that's something i can do also if 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 the shit really hits the windmill, I do still have this, and I will 
produce the Raven Queen token again. I mean, ah. we still really don't know what it does, but. Yeah, I was going to ask, you You showed that to the Raven Queen uh, and asked whether it was still useful. Uh, what was it useful for? When she originally gave it to me and Rune and Bonk and Rikal, I th she basically said that if we were ever in dire need of help, then we could use this. You did not think to use that before you died. No, we didn't. No, we, uh, strangely, no. <laughs> we we didn't think to use it. Uh, then I, I I don't know why. Um, uh, right. Okay. But I'm I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. So I'm just saying, if things get really bad, it's 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 an option. I I don't know how how secure of a safety net it is, but. <laughs> It's it is uh, yeah. is better than nothing. Exactly. If you didn't have it and we needed it, we'd die. If you have it and it doesn't work, we die. If you have it and it does work, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So if we are in dire need and it doesn't work, then nothing lost and we're dead anyway. Yeah, well, that's... That's how I see it. So really, you had that before you died, and you didn't use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we we did it. it and look, it, it was a stressful stressful situation. We were all very caught up in the moment. Things were happening. I mean, yeah, we. It, what we happened? Were... You you fight well. What what killed you in the end? What happened? I think we just got into a fight that. Mm. It was a fight we could have won. I think we just got a bit unlucky and made yeah. some bad decisions. Yeah, I suppose. A Everyone has a plan until you are punched in the face. And then the lot, plan goes out yeah. the window. A lot happened yeah. in the heat of the moment, and uh, that is why I was in uh, two very distinctly different minds about our encounter with Nefarion. There was a there was a, a slight hint of uh, excitement for a fight from you. Was that was that nerves or just wanting to get on with it? <sighs> with the both. Yeah, is is understandable. I just wanted to wanted to ask. Uh, I mean, it is an interesting time we are in. Man, I have not had a real chance to uh, sit and process things. I mean, I know we have had rest in. Uh, in the Fey Realm, but even that, just being there and seeing what it has become it caused me to be so preoccupied with with that that I still haven't really sat down and thought about everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, we've we met a god, uh, and we were brought back to life, and they don't well. I'd never met an eight-foot bugbear before. Especially a purple one. Yeah, that that's not normal. Even for him, that's not normal. <laughs> So, there's been a lot going on. I mean, if we're waiting for a while now, it's a good time to to talk and to think and 
begins that process. So, where are you having this conversation? Whereabouts are you? Probably back at the well. I would probably okay. say huddled in some ruins by the well. Oh, oh fuck, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw the picture up here. I just noticed the picture <laughs> of what Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Wallace snuck in there. He's so happy. He is. So cool. Definitely toothless. Just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't looking at the screen. Oh, <laughs> he's a buddy. Um, uh, certainly okay. in a building of some kind. Yeah, all around right. um, the open. Yeah, in a mostly intact building, I'd probably say. Okay. Are we in agreement then? We wait here. <clears throat> I think so. I mean, I mean, it seems the best plan. Would just, I think, missing the appointment would be quite a mistake. And if okay. the Fey realm is still fucky with time, then that's uh, an increasing possibility. Don't we wait for his return? We finalize the details. Yeah, and we put we put on a show. It would seem so. Okay. Agreed. Now you you two have, uh, and this is something that's not needed to talk about right now. But you two have fought together for a, a long time, and uh, Terrell and I are joining you. Uh, if if you two have ways of dealing with uh, combat, we can attempt to assist you, but we have our own very different set of skills, it would seem. So, yeah, I'm... if you've got any ideas, uh, please share share your thoughts. Well, from my side, I have to admit, I there are a number of spells I can cast. There are some interesting magics that I can conjure. But I tend to use up what I have fairly quickly. I usually only have one or two good shots. And then that's me done. So I have to be quite sparing and selective with what I do. Um, I may be forced to hold back until later waves. He spoke about five waves uh, of enemies in this gauntlet. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to increase in difficulty with each wave, but that might not be the case. Yeah. Difficulty um, or number. Yeah, so I Could may try have to just to, over Velmas. I may have to kind of hold back uh, until later waves, so don't wonder if I do. Um, I actually see Terrell doing quite well in a, a, an arena situation. Um, he should have just space. Need, I just need a little bit bow. of distance, uh, exactly, and I can be the most effective. Yeah, uh, Fig, oh. I'm actually kind of worried with about you. You like to sneak and to hide, it would seem, uh, taking your opportune attacks from the shadows. I don't know <laughs> how available uh, uh, that sort of situation is going to be for you in a in an arena environment. Yeah, uh, hiding and picking my. Picking my points may not be <coughs> the, uh, the most readily available tactic for me, but I am quick. Uh, good. And I can use that. Uh, I'm good at getting in and getting out. Uh, okay. I'm not... I can... I, I, I'm, I'm strong-ish. I can, I can take a hit, but probably not many. Uh... You are. Uh, you three seem to be a little more hardy than I am. Uh, hey, that's why. That's why I'm a thief and not a, not a warrior or a ranger or a. 
bounty hunter or any kind of uh, direct contact with these people. I, I don't even like to fight. I oh, <laughs> I can and I do, but I, I don't even like it. Uh, it's it's fine. Just I've I've never had to. I've never had to kill a man. Uh, these these monsters and these things that we fought so far, they haven't been human or, or, or normal uh, so so it hasn't been a problem but if if at some point we come across a man or a woman an elf a dwarf a, anything that could be I, I can fight and I can and I can win but I I don't know what I could kill We'll face that hurdle when we come to it. Something tells me, though, that's not what we're going to be facing. What? What? I don't like that the DM's just <laughs> rolled a perception check. That's that's rude. <laughs> that's rude. It really is. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm, I'm that, just going to pretend I didn't see that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my my fighting style is... Uh, it, I don't imagine there will be many dwarves or elves when we fight tomorrow. So I'll be fine. But, uh... uh so, so Terrell, you, you like to fight from the back. Uh, and Wallace, well, you would like to bite things. Uh... Gray, you you have abilities to fight from up close and far away. Which do you prefer? Uh, look, I try to stay flexible. I mean, I, yeah, flexibility I'm, is good. I'm not particularly good at either. That's the problem. I mean, once my magic's used up, I'm basically just a mediocre fighter. But um. You yeah, do as I said, well I, from where I'm standing, I I I try to stay flex flexible, and it's at this point that Volis suddenly sits upright and begins to <laughs> growl at the back of his throat. Uh oh, a very oh, a very very deep, very ominous sound, and off in a distance. Faintly, but audible. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, which is where we'll call it for the evening. Oh, God oh. fucking damn it. Really? You have to end it there? I hate you. <sighs> of course it God does. God damn it. <sighs> So we're not here next week. Oh no, no, we're not here next week. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, th thank you very much, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful time. Oh, um, absolutely. I certainly have. Uh, so yeah, we're not here next week, sadly. <laughs> but um, we hope that um, our, our good friend has a wonderful time where he, where he is going. Thank and you, uh, you, can, we you wish... can say that it's me. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you, you don't have to be that vague. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm got to keep it as vague as humanly possible. <laughs> Fine. Sean's doing a thing. Yeah, there Sean's doing hacking. a hacking thing. He's doing a hacking thing. And uh, yeah, we wish him all the best. Um, and you know, we, we hope that um, you know he doesn't get sentenced to too many years. And um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be back next week for some Neverwinter Wednesday and whatever we, whatever we decide to do um, yes. on the Thursday. There will definitely and, um, be something. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, with that, there's nothing uh, else that we can possibly say um, other than, I Bobby think... Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But I don't believe that um, there's anything else that we can possibly say uh, other than... Um, <clears throat> um, 
Don't, don't, don't be, be sure. a dick. Don't be a dick. Yes. Don't be a Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, personal. <laughs> well, you know, he, he tried to step over our uh, our thing. He was being all like, oh, yeah, no, I'm going uh, to go I'm usually there. way too late. I thought... Uh, okay. Fair a, enough. It was, a, it was a preemptive, don't be a dick. Yeah. yeah. Well, dear. thank you all for joining us. Fast. Thank you Thanks. all for joining us. And, um, yeah, so, but, yeah, see you in two weeks' time. Bye. See you in two weeks. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Cheerio. Of magic and might, with crypts full of cryptids and caverns of light, and evil is lurking, hungry to conquer the land. Where alone come for heroes, ready to march out to war, destined for greatness, fighting like never before. Chapter